St. Louis under siege. Today, St. Louis Alderman took two steps to slow crime in the city. There's a community call to action and a bill now working its way through our city government. Five on your side's Ryan Henson breaks down the short and long term plans. How long do we have to keep allowing us to look at losing two year old children? How long do we have to keep brushing it off like, oh well, it's just something that happened? 27th Ward Alderwoman Pam Boyd and the African American Alderman at Caucus announces a plan to slow crime, specifically gun violence and vehicle related crimes. We're under siege as a city. The caucus has reached out to community leaders, law enforcement and politicians, both federally and locally, to form a permanent alliance. Boyd says addressing mental illness with guns is also a priority. In Friday's Board of Aldermen meeting, Alderman Brandon Bosley introduced a bill that would set a curfew for teens. The St. Louis NAACP president says he's not against the idea of a curfew, but has questions on how effective it could be. NAACP St. Louis President Adolphus Pruitt wants to see a data-driven solution that cracks down on minor crimes. If you have a rupture in the pipeline, um, you first look for the shutoff valve. <laughs> and, and the shutoff valve for us is, is stopping young kids from, from graduating into more substantial crime. Data shows graduating in a different aspect is the best deterrence for illegal activity. They don't graduate from high school, they drop out or whatever. And of course they become less employable, which means they're gonna to graduate to some more substantial crimes. Pruitt wants to see an investment in education. He also says the solution must be region wide because illegal activity doesn't stop at the city's borders. Ryan Henson, five on your side. Alderman Bosley says he hopes to have a community hearing within the next few weeks about the curfew. The African-American Aldermanic Caucus hopes to have the group meet by the end of the year.